Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another cycling video. Um, today we're going to be talking about the toughest cycling climb in Austria. So I watch a lot of the GCN network like a lot of you other cyclists do and came across the video here. Is this the world's hardest cycling climb? And uh, it's a climb in Italy. Uh, really incredible stuff and they, they revisited it. Uh, one of the guys went up and struggled a little bit, made it, but you know had to put his foot down a couple of times. Uh, then they got like the world's best climber uh, to go there and and he was able to run up that thing like like nobody's business so um, really really sick climb I mean when you when you look at the um, the profile uh, on this climb you're, you're seeing that you know it's 18 percent average grade uh, 1384 meters that's well over three quarters of a mile uh, in ascent and over a distance of 7k which is only four and a half miles so uh, incredibly steep um, sometimes brutally if you watch those videos i'll put the the links down below um, just incredibly tight around some corners that lead to you know what they say on on this chart about 45 uh, percent at some point um, so you know just a whole different level of torture um, and you know, I don't know that most of us average riders uh, are going to feel too good trying to go up that. But what I found here in Austria with the Hochkar climb is that there's a, a really steep climb out there uh, that's manageable. Um, it's suffering, but it's manageable suffering. And that's what we're going to look at today, the Hochkar climb. Okay, so what is Hochkar? Hochkar is a ski resort about two hours uh, from Vienna in the province of Lower Austria. Uh, great skiing in the winter, go skiing there all the time. Um, great hiking and cycling in the summer. So the route for this particular climb is from point one here, the toll booth on the map, to point three, which is the ski station um, near the top of the mountain. So this is the Strava profile, uh, 11K, about seven and a half miles. Um, Elevation gain of 1,345 meters, which is just about 4,500 feet at 9.5%. Um, and I think the king of the mountain here is 47 minutes, so super impressive. The data that I collected with my Garmin Edge Explorer uh, bike computer um, is shown here. Um, I plugged it into uh, runalyzer.com, gives you some really great data. Um, the ride for the day was 24.6K, gave me a climb score of 6.9, uh, 991 meters, so about, what is that, 3,300 feet almost. I think 3,400 is uh, my Garmin, um, is in miles. The website I had it showing as, as metric, um, and it gave me the three different categorized climbs, the four, the five, um, and then the HC. Um, it's interesting that it did the, the four and the HC as two separate ones but the the flat area right by the number four here in the video um, is that toll booth entrance um, at the end of the video there's going to be um, some gopro footage that i did at a different time uh, showing the the ride up there uh, i did it actually in a car i didn't have the gopro with me the day i did the the bike so we're going to look at um, the actual hill here in a little more detail um, to see just how steep uh, parts of this are. I, I think it's a little deceiving we compare it to the Italian one. Of course, it's not that. Um, but what I think happens is that you, you do have several areas on this climb where you, you level out for a bit uh, and even go down a little bit. So um, you have to go up certain parts almost like twice um, to, to get the full uh, elevation there so it's 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 really quite steep and and as i was mousing over this um, blow up of the the elevation profile uh, there were gradient numbers in, in the 40s like this 41.3 um, and looking back at it, it it it's you know in the turns sometimes it's just so steep in the turns even if you're trying to you know stay in the middle on a on a right hand turn um, sometimes if it's a left-hand turn, you can, you stay to the far right and, and you get the benefit of that. But, 
Um, if it's a, a tight right and, you know, there wasn't much traffic today, but a couple times cars were going by and you really do have to stay out of the way. And uh, if you're in one of those tight right turns there, I'm, I'm sure there were small bits where it was 40 uh, plus gradient. So uh, overall, just a really uh, tough climb. And now real quick to the gear. Um, on this ride, I rode my Giant Any Road 2. It's a 2018. Um, it's a 2x9 um, with more or less slicks on it. Uh, I've taken off the stock um, light knobs that, that were on there. Um, it's not the lightest bike, but it's got pretty good gear ratio and did a nice job with this. I used the Garmin Edge Explorer to you know, capture my rides, and I'm currently using the Giro VR Rumble shoes, uh, which I find like a fantastic shoe uh, for all weather, all types of, of um, conditions. Um, I have, I, I like them because they, they're flat and you can walk around in them. Um, you're not standing up on on your, your binding. Um, and I, I have two-sided pedals uh, on this bike, uh, Shimano. I think they're MP324s. Um, I have them on both my bikes. I also have a Marin DSX-1 now, but I really love these shoes because they're comfortable and you can get off and walk around and, and just feel really great and, you know, clip in or not clip in. All right, so is this really the toughest climb in Austria? I can't say for sure. I mean, they use it for the mountain hill climb competitions here. Uh, they had a couple of years off because of COVID, but uh, it's basically where they've been holding that hill climb championship. I'm sure you can find some places up in the Alps where uh, it might be steeper. Um, but for for the everyday rider, if you want a great challenge, you want to get that thousand meters of climbing in a single in a single ramp, basically um, at super high gradients, but on a really well paved road um, with without much danger or anything like that. Uh, this is definitely a climb worth trying next time you're in Austria. All right, we're going to wrap up here. The footage has been running for a little bit now, and that's going to continue probably for about another, oh, six, seven minutes. Um, it's about a nine minute drive up in the car, a little over an hour, as you saw on the bike. Uh, so enjoy the footage. Really nice. Uh, got this on a fall day, uh, going up through here, uh, color starting to change. Um, you can also see that a lot of the the ride is in the shade, and that's the same in the summer. So if you do come up in the summer and you can get up there early enough in the morning, uh, you can you can beat the heat. Uh, the day I went up in the summer, it was 12C, 54 Fahrenheit in the morning. Um, later on that day in the afternoon, the temps got up to 85 Fahrenheit, which is almost 30, 30 C. So it would have been a lot tougher to do that climb then. So early morning start. Um, and probably until about the end of October, um, after which you just never know if you're going to get frost and and some light snow and and some some ice on the on the road. So uh, better to go probably between late May and late October. So if you're ever around, uh, give it a shot uh, and enjoy the rest of of the footage here. Take care.